The next step in the process is to bring together all the various sources of survey information. Mapping, digital terrain model, Google Earth data and aerial photography. For the mapping, Google Earth data and aerial photography, I will bring these in as microstation and reference files because I just want visibility of these models. For the digital terrain model, I will import that into Bentley RailTrack so that I can triangulate it and then use it for taking cross sections to calculate earthworks volumes. Here I'm bringing in each of the different reference files. And then what I want to do is just check each of the references to make sure that they're all working from the same origin. Just set that to zero, zero. And there we have our survey data synchronized into a single view showing aerial photography, Google Earth, and digital mapping. The digital terrain model will be brought into Bentley RailTrack. So to do that, I open the file that contains the model. That has now opened that up. If I look at my digital terrain model and look at its properties, I have 64,000 points, which are survey level points only, not connected together, so they're random points. And I have two brake lines. And those two brake lines are the platform edges at the stations. What I want to do now is to draw those survey points. So surface, view, surface elevations and draw elevations and points apply and it's now busy processing those into spot level annotation to go onto my model that I want to look at and here we have 64,000 points of survey data shown if I zoom in on this, at each of the points you will see a level cross and the value at the point. That completes the integration of survey with data from digital mapping, Google Earth, aerial photography and a digital terrain model.